You're fine. Did you miss her? Oh no, not you too. What? What? There's two. There's three. Good girl, Mom. Good morning guys, it's Saturday and uh, I've also decided to add some antibiotic to Ruby's treatment. It's sort of a last resort. I'm wondering because of this wet weather, not that she's been outside much, but I'm wondering with the wet weather if maybe she's got like something going on with her foot, maybe like a foot rot that I just can't see. I can't see, I can't smell anything, but it is a little bit swollen. So we'll see if this does anything. At least we can say we've tried everything. We're gonna put you in the other barn, I think. Well, I've decided to put Ruby in this pen by herself just so she's getting bullied out there. Um, I try to feed her hay and the other ones eat it on her. Ruby, I put hay in your pen, honey. It's right behind you. Come here, honey. There you go. I'm just pretty much trying anything right now to keep her happy. As happy as can be, I guess. Hey, do you know where the water is? So she does have antibiotic in her now, if it is an infection. The, her foot did feel a little warm to the touch, which can indicate there's something going on in there. I just want to make sure that uh, she's not getting further injured out there by those, especially those two little juveniles, three with tomatoes. If it's an infection, hopefully the antibiotic will help and get her to put some weight on that. The other thing I noticed is we have a manger divider that got sort of extended so we got an escapee that i need to deal with so i need to get a drill to fix that Good morning, it is Sunday, 
and Ruby is up. She's still sort of babying that leg though. I treated her yesterday and today with uh, an antibiotic. I'll probably keep doing that for like three more days. If she lays down again, I might see if I can just further examine her hoof. Um, I did notice her one toe was curling a little bit, so it probably wouldn't hurt just to trim off a little bit of her, of her hoof. Um, and see if I can see anything underneath. Antibiotics will help if it is an infection. She's eating right now, so I don't want to disturb her. So I'm gonna let her eat and drink, and then uh, maybe I'll check on her this afternoon, see if she's laying down, and then I'll bring over the trimmers, trim back her nails a little bit and see if we can see anything. See your footie? Okay, despite the fact that she is really mad at me, uh, we did find, I think, I, it definitely smells maybe suspiciously like foot rot. She's already getting antibiotics, so there's not much I can do there. I'll keep giving her painkiller, but it's nice to know that she hasn't gotten knocked or blown a hip or something, because that's what I thought it was, just the way she was going sort of bow-legged. But I think maybe she's she's fighting a little bit of a rot. It's not as warm as it was yesterday, but there's definitely some inflammation in there. Just right in there. And that would make sense because it's I think it's up in there. I'm gonna get you fixed up. Okay? And I know you're not gonna like me. Digging for gold. It doesn't melt the plastic bag. Pretty hot. Yeah, I don't know. This broiler manure seems to get you warm. Good morning. It is a busy Monday morning here on the farm. We have our guys here working out the roof already. They were here by eight. The chimneys are off uh, and they're just taking off some hardware, I think, to, to start uh, rolling back the roof. 
And then I think they're gonna grab the new one and get it all ready so uh, by early tomorrow morning they can just roll it on. And I checked on Ruby. Um, definitely, I think it is her foot, so I think it was a good call to start the antibiotic. Yeah, she's just nibbling at food, so she doesn't have a great appetite either. So we will just keep her comfortable and keep watching her and just keep her fingers crossed that she will respond to the antibiotic soon. Uh, her hoof itself looks good. There's no, I couldn't, I can't even see like the little white blister that was there. So everything sort of dried up and looks decent. And the manure guys are here. So Adrian and the boys, they've got three spreaders on our farm where we took weed off here and our winter barley. So that's all the sheep manure they're spreading right now. And then they'll move into our poultry manure just down the road. Uh, Mark's dad and brother's farm. They come once a year and they spread all our manure. So we do not spread any manure in the spring, in the winter, we just spread all our manure, usually a little earlier than now, usually August. We're still in August technically, but it's a little later than we like to, so we have to get a little creative on the cover crop planting. Uh, Mark said he might actually spread it this year instead of plant it, but we will see. They make such quick work of manure. Uh, the best thing we ever did, Mark and I, was hiring Adrian and his crew of guys here. So we've got three of these uh, Tebby manure spreaders going. That's what we used to have. We actually sold Adrian our old one. So one of these might be actually our old one. They have been really dodging rain. Adrian said he's been having a hard time even just stitching three days together uh, in a row this August. So we're just so grateful they're here and they'll have all our manure probably out. If we don't get rain tomorrow night, they potentially could be done by like Wednesday. If it does rain tomorrow, I bet you they'll still be done this week. What they can do in like three days would take us a month. We're trying something new this year because it's so wet. We wouldn't do this on a dry year, I was just told. No, it's late too, so we're trying to get stuff done a little quicker than normal. Yeah, so we actually are putting the cover crop in the spreader, the fertilizer spreader, and um, spreading the cover crop on the field. And then we have the joker hooked up. So tomorrow or tonight yet? Uh, probably, I'll do this little bit. I'll start with the joker and then just get the joker set. Um, the joker is just till light tillage and we, we have to do that anyway on our manure to incorporate the manure. So this way we're incorporating the manure and the cover crop seed because there's a lot of moisture in the ground already so it should in theory germinate. And then you said you might roll it after just to, if, the, if it looks like there's no yeah, rain. Yeah, we don't get much rain tomorrow night. Um, I might just roll it after just to kind of firm up that area that the seed kind of sit in so we have solid seed contact. So this is new, we'll let you know and what, will we see it in a couple weeks? Yeah, works. we used, like long, long time ago before, right when I got into cover crops, we used to spread it. I and work it in. Sean yeah, because Sean would come and spread it. Yeah, that's how we originally so did we, it. So it, like it, it works, you just have to use a bit of higher, rate. higher CD rate. Yeah. Because you're, we you expect greater feeling. But this, uh, this means we're getting across 60 feet at a time, whereas your drill is a lot slower. It's a lot of wear and tear on your drill. And then, yeah, like how many feet? 
26 versus 60. Oh, yeah. So, so I'm doing 80 acres an hour right now. So we're a little more efficient this way. So as long as it works, we're good. Well, we are just getting in from the field. The guys are long gone and the roof is off, which they had off before lunch. So I think it's supposed to be nice tomorrow morning, no wind. And uh, yeah, so I have to decide if I feed these ladies tonight or wait till like five o'clock tomorrow morning, just cause there's gonna be so much commotion in here tomorrow that uh, there just won't be a whole lot of time to feed until we're done. You're fine. So this is the south side of the barn. This is the side where they have the new tarp just laid out here. And then you can see the ropes at every, basically a couple at every pearl in there. There's a sort of a bar in there. I don't know if you can see that in there. These go all the way up and around the barn and they'll pull from that far side tomorrow. And then we will have a roof. Good morning. It's uh, what day are we on today? Tuesday, and it's about five in the morning. Decided to get up this morning early to feed. So I have about an hour to get this all sort of done. I think they'd be rolling in probably around 6.30. So I'll do chores here, run over, see Ruby, make sure she's okay. And then uh, I think about seven or quarter after I have to take Jess to London for an oncology appointment. So. It's going to be a busy morning and unfortunately I'm not going to be here when they're putting up the roof and that makes me really sad because it's quite a thing to see. So I begged Mark if he could to take footage and he's like, I'm going to be working. <laughs> so I don't know what's, I don't know what you're going to see. If anything, maybe I'll just come back and the roof will be done, which is also okay. So Ruby is walking a little better on her foot today, I think. She's like putting quite a bit of weight on this foot, which is good, but she seems very depressed. And she has not really been eating. We are back. Uh, Jess's appointment went really fast, actually. It was just a sort of a consult with her original oncology surgeon. And uh, yeah, so we didn't learn much. We're basically just uh, going through what it's gonna look like sort of this year for um, scheduled visits. And I think she said between her and our chemo doctor, uh, they're gonna share duties. So every three months we'll see either uh, the one doctor or her. So it was nice to see her again. We haven't seen her since uh, Jess's surgery. Or did we see her one more time? I think we saw her one more time after surgery. It's all sort of a blur, but Jess was not, not well today. She did admit to me that she thinks some of it's a bit mental, like just that drive to the hospital. So I am actually rolling. We didn't think we were gonna have to do this, but Mark said, if we don't get this rain tonight, we're gonna, we're gonna wish we had of. So all we're doing is I'm rolling where he worked, uh, worked in the, the manure and the cover crop just to conserve the moisture that we had and to also just break up any like cloddy ground. 
So this is where I'll be for the uh, rest of the afternoon. So here's the scoop with our Ruby. I think the hoof is healing, like she's putting full weight on it now. She wouldn't even put any weight on it uh, on the weekend, so today is Wednesday. So I would definitely say she has responded to the antibiotic. However, I do wonder if there's more going on with her. The problem is she's not with her friends, and I do feel like sheep get a bit depressed when they're not with their family, even though there's, there's lambs in here. like. There are friends, but she knows she's not with her gang. So um, I wanted to heal that foot before I put her back with them, just in case she gets bumped. But I think to get her really eating again, I might put her back with her buddies. Hi guys, she's coming. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, she looks so happy. Yep. Joe, guys, let her in. Good girl, Ruby. <laughs> you just want it with your friend. Look at her go. She lives in a little, a lot better than she was. Oh, Margie's saying hi. <laughs> Did you miss her, Marge? Did you miss her? Aw, you guys are besties. I didn't know that about you. And Big Mama, you're welcome. I brought your buddy home. Very for a lot of duck sounds. They don't make this easy. No, I love to string a few engineers up by there. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been a day. Mark is fixing my telehandler. It sprung a leak in the hydraulics again. He's not having a good time. It's been he's been working on it for two and a half hours, I think. The guys look like they got the sides sort of trimmed up and secured, but no chimneys yet. Well, Mark helped me, so I helped him. We just put uh, a couple seed wheat wagons together. He's gonna take that to friends of ours who cleans, cleans the wheat and treats it, so we can plant it here after we take off the soybeans. We do quite a bit of certified seed, which means like we, we buy seed from seed dealers and then we plant it and usually if we like the variety we will try and keep some of that back for the next year we can grow our own wheat seed legally the next year so that's a sort of a way to help with costs like input costs is to reuse our wheat seed where we can and where it makes sense and where we're really happy with the results of the certified seed the year before so uh he's gonna do that tomorrow he was trying to do that today uh but he really wanted to get my telehandler fixed for me so um so we compromised. <laughs> I'm watching Jess's latest uh, Q&A video and I'm so proud of her. Shaving my head was so empowering and whenever I would go out to like the mall or someplace, not the hospital, 
It didn't happen very often, but when I did, I felt very almost powerful. You know, sometimes people would look at me, but mostly I think when people looked at me, they were like, holy crap, she's strong. How did I give birth to her? <laughs> wow, what a kid. What are we doing? This is really fun. I'm doing a prompt jar inspired by the one and only Rachel Catherine. Rachel Catherine. So this is how I'm going to pick my Oct September oh, reads. September. What's the goal? How many books? I would love to read. So in August, I read eight books. I would like to read like maybe six. In so case I they don't know what a prompt, prompt jar so like, is, let's give some examples. A book on that's been on your TBR forever. And TBR is? To be read. <laughs> a book with a six word title. Uh, a book with a place in the title. That sort of idea. Yeah. Show everybody your new hoodie that you waited all summer for. A fellow That's from a YouTuber I watch all the time. Sam, Sam and Colby. Colby. Sam, or not Sam. Colby, Colby. Just recently went through actually like the same treatment plan as me, except his was, I one. think he only had to do run round. Yeah. Um, but when he was done, he came out with this merch. Yeah. Fun fact, post-surgery, Mom and I and Dad all sat and watched yeah. their videos like every night for well, it was a like week. A, they're like movies. They're like movies. They're like an hour long. Mm -hmm. They're really good. If you like paranormal type stuff. Check Haunted them out. houses. And I love that stuff. Yeah. Hello. <gasps> what? What? Mama. Good morning. Our first, uh, our first out of the gate. She's a little early, and she's been amazing. She followed me right up with them, and uh, I think they're not very old. Like I think they were just born. They're very quite wet yet. But she's full of milk and happy, and they're with her, so it makes me happy. Look at you go! Hi! How are you doing? You're walking really good! Look at her go! She's looking a little bit. What are you doing? I want to see you walk. Oh no, not you too. Is that because of this wet grass? So now Billy's mom is limping. Goodness gracious. Girls. What are you looking at? My fancy wireless lights. Ooh. Safety pair. Ooh, look at those. Yeah. So why is he flashing? Because I have the indicator on. Oh. Yeah. So those, how are those wireless from the tractor? So they're, we got a battery in them. Okay. And uh, so it's got a transmitter that you plug into the back of the tractor. Uh -huh. And it transmits the what's supposed to be going on to the lights back here via Bluetooth. That's cool. Yeah. Mark's just on his way with that uh, wheat to get uh, cleaned and treated so he's just on his way to Jeff and Bill's friends of ours that do that. I want to check these lammies again and I also have to get some penicillin for Billy's mom. Hmm. Oh it's so cute.
Everyone is gone. There's only one job left to do, and that's the uh, garage door header. Uh, some birds really destroyed it. They got up in underneath the uh, fabric and destroyed the wood underneath. So they're going to come back next week and just work at that end, end wall and door. But my chimneys are up. So I have been watching my little triplets and Mama's starting to chill out a bit now. It's her first lambing and she had three. She had some dancy feet, but her babies are on her now. Really good. Good girl. How about you? My old pro. Your babies look so good. Okay, we have some errands to run this afternoon, so I'm gonna... I got my cameras around in here so I can watch them while we're in town. We have to go to the accountant. We have to go to Home Depot. Jess wants to get dropped off at the mall for a little bit. Uh, Mark has to drop off some soil samples at a lab. Good morning, it's Friday. It's the end of another work week already. And it's been one that everything sort of just turned out well. It's been, it's been good. These ewes waited until we had a roof, which was delightful. The rain held off, it all worked out. It usually does, but Sandy likes to worry about everything. better. Thanks survey says uh, no new lambs. Today is the first, they're due on the fifth. I'm, sh I'm shocked because the last couple lambings we've had lots of early lambs so I'm fine with it. It's a small group so it'd just be nice if they were pretty tight together. Um, and there is other jobs I need to get done so I'm sort of happy they're not lambing right now. Um, I'd like to clean my office. It hasn't been cleaned sort of since I finished building it and the utility room needs a real cleanse and my lambing kit needs all put together so we'll maybe work at that this afternoon and then see where we're at I hear something. Oh, hi. We have a baby. We have another baby. Ma oh, there's, there's two. There's three. Good girl, mom. Another three. 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 Wow. Let's go get that other one. Way down there. And a little single for our you lamb and I probably should foster, but she's really uneasy. So I'm gonna let her maybe just be solo, even though she's got a ton of milk. <laughs> 